I'm sitting in my bonus room right now. It's 7.30. I've been home for about an hour. Still have my coat on. Still wearing my badge. And I'm sitting in my bonus room because this is the project that I promised my husband and kids that I would have organized and cleaned out before Thanksgiving. It's mostly school stuff that I bring home and drag home every day in a bucket like a lot of teachers thinking that I'm going to get all this stuff done at home and I don't or I put it off and I bring more stuff home to make me feel really good rolling that bucket out. My dream would be to be efficient with my time, to be productive with my time, to be able to give back to the people that I work with and um, help be that instructional person that I know that they seek out, but my organization skills lack sometimes. So thank you for considering me. My video a year later is here in my bonus room where I did my original video. And a year ago, this room was a teacher hoarder paradise. It was cram packed with my teaching materials that I kept dragging home from school in hopes to work on and I never did. And my husband gently nudged me to clear out my junk and let this space be the space it was intended to be, a bonus room for our kids to play games, watch movies, hang out with friends, and I needed to clear my stuff out. So a year later, here's the room. It looks awesome, it's clean, it's organized. There's a very small pile under the TV of my teacher things that's very manageable and I can work on when I have some free time at home, but it doesn't overtake the room. I would say the biggest takeaway for me from the 40 hour teacher work week club was um, investing that time and giving myself permission to look back over my practices. Um, I'm in my 22nd year of teaching and I was just at that place where I needed to make some mindset shifts. And I asked three of my colleagues to join me when uh, the club started and that was awesome. I would highly recommend joining with some friends if they will with you. Uh, we met on a weekly basis and talked about the club materials, talked about what was working in our room, and over time we really became honest about some practices we were all doing that weren't working. And that accountability to keep, keep up with the materials, keep trying new things was really encouraging. I would say for me personally, one of the biggest takeaways is the list making system. I had formed very bad habits of trying to remember things, writing things on sticky notes and losing them. Um, also just making a bad habit of needing big chunks of time to complete tasks. And that list making system is revolutionary in that you can really see, I can get something done in 10 minutes. I can make the most use of this time. This is my priority, I have to get this done right now. So when things start to go bad and I fall back into my old habits, I revisit that list making system to keep me accountable and that's very helpful. I would say overall, just the general theme of the club is small mindset shifts that maybe you think, well, this is the way I've always done it, here's what I can do, but just thinking about, is that the most productive use of my time? Is that really helping my students? That has really helped me, and um, I'm really excited about the graduate course. I've signed up for that, and I think that will really help me to revisit some practices that maybe I wasn't ready to change last year, but I'm ready to try this year. Um, I'm kind of an Angela Watson groupie now. I listen to her podcast almost all the time in the car. Uh, even my kids know her voice. So it's just been a great time investment for me that I will continue to do and continue to visit. And I'm really thankful for that scholarship. And I've already recommended it to another teacher that I'm friends with. And we're meeting now um, about twice a month to talk about the materials. So it's just a great thing to do no matter where you are in, in your career uh, if you want to make some changes in your practice. Thank you, Angela. Thank you.